Hello and welcome back to Lions Den on Main Media TV. I'm your host, Christopher Manguel, and we're here with Dr. Jim Alshama. He's the new director and a new professor at uh, Texas A&M Commerce for the Deer Department. How you doing, Jim? Great, Chris. All right, so let's talk about the, um, the new play that you're directing, A Midsummer Night. Cool. Yes, this is A Midsummer Night's Dream by William Shakespeare. It's one of his most popular comedies. Okay. Uh, and the students actually selected this play uh, last year. They said, we want to do this. And so when I was hired aboard, I was very happy to, to step in and direct it. And we're doing this in a, uh, Shakespeare's plays are kind of unusual. They have what's been called a negative capability. Even though they were written some 400 years ago, they can be set in any time period, any place. So it's very common to take Shakespeare and put him into different locations. So we're actually setting ours in Venice in the late 1700s during Carnival. Oh, and wow. so the idea is that the characters of the daytime world put on masks and costumes, and they become characters of the nighttime world. Uh, so it's kind of a play within a play, uh, which also goes along with theme later on in the play. We have another play in the play, that which Shakespeare wrote, called Pyramus and Thisbe, which is a, kind of a comedy, a comic take on a tragedy. So y'all pretty much added your own twist to this classic play, correct? Yeah, we added our own production concept. We okay. didn't change any of the language. Right. <laughs> uh, it's not cool to do that with Shakespeare, but we did our own interpretation of the, the setting. Okay, so tell me a little bit about the, the preparation going into this play. How was that? Yeah, well, uh, I started with the idea back in the summer of wanting to do this masquerade carnival thing. So me and my costume designer, uh, Samantha Grace, were looking online at images of carnival, and we thought that the ones uh, set in Venice were the most beautiful. Uh, and so from there, I asked Samantha, well, what's a good time period to go with this? And she said, well, the Rococo period, late 1700s, has the very beautiful and elegant costumes to go along with that. So uh, we, we had our first production meeting back in September and then started uh, meeting with the designers uh, more regularly in November, our set designer, costume designer, lighting designer, sound designer, uh, and just started to build the ideas from there. We have a, so the, since it's set in Venice, we, it, it, it's still it's rather an abstract space, mm -hmm. but we have a Venetian bridge in the back. We've got a gondola, which is where the fairy queen sleeps, and a balcony, and we have a court set piece that the actors themselves move, move on and off. So it's also, we're doing this in the style of theatricality, which is that we're not pretending that it's not a play. Uh, when we switch from the daytime to nighttime, for example, we have a sun and a moon, which our art director, Sarah Scholl, designed. As she she uh, did a, much of the design of the artwork on the set, working alongside Chad Pope, our set designer. Mm -hmm. So we actually have a sun and a moon, and you see the characters cranking them up and down with ropes to show the transition from the daytime world into the nighttime world. So students are going to be really surprised at how visually interesting the, the set is. I hope so, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. And so. So the play opens this week, correct? Yes, it okay. opens tomorrow night. It runs uh, tomorrow through Sunday. It's at 8 o'clock, Tuesday through Saturday, and then a 3 o'clock matinee on Sunday. All right, let's talk about some of the people that are cast in, in the play. Who are okay. those people? Uh, well, Henry Okigbo plays uh, Theseus, and also his nighttime counterpart, Oberon. Cynthia Bean plays Hippolyta, who also becomes the fairy queen at night. Uh, Henry is a grad student. Uh, Cynthia is an undergrad. So we have a mixture of grad students. I'm not going to name the entire cast. OK, no. Because uh, we have close to 20 actors in it. But we have a mixture of everything from freshmen up to master's students. Um, and uh, they have brought a tremendous amount of energy. Not only are they performing on the stage, but then they've been going and building the set and the costumes, working till 3 in the morning sometimes oh, to wow. get this put together and done. There's a tremendous amount of passion. So students who come see this play are going to see that passion on the stage. Um, this is very much a physically staged production. I don't okay. believe in having just people up there, the talking heads approach. Shakespeare yeah. is very physical. Uh, we put a lot of stage combat in. We have these four lovers who are chasing each other through the forest, or in our case, the back streets of, of Venice. Uh, they're, they're tangling with each other, knocking each other over, slapping. Uh, so it's a very physical production. Okay. So as a director, what has been one of the hardest things bringing this play to life, you would say? Uh, it's just that it's a big production, coordinating all the elements, making everything works together. But as, as I've said, the students and the students, student designers and faculty designers have, have really put a lot of energy into it. Also, handling Shakespeare is a special challenge because the language is 
more than 400 years old. There's a lot of words we don't use anymore. A lot of it's written in verse and iambic pentameter. So we actually did a week of rehearsal in December when we focused just on how to handle Shakespeare's text. And then when we started uh, working on the actual play in January, when we got back, we hit the ground running. And the, 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 the student actors have really uh, taken hold of that and have done extremely well with it. Okay, and then y'all have the dress rehearsal tonight as well, too. Yeah, tonight is our preview night. We have a select audience coming in. We have an English class coming in who's studying Shakespeare. So we're gonna have about 30 some people in the audience. And this gives the actors a chance to have a live audience out there to, uh, I mean, theater's are really an interplay between actors and audience. No two performances are the same, and a lot has to do with the audience energy. And it also will give the actors a chance to see where the audience is going to laugh, how to hold for laughter, um, and get on their feet with that. And then finally, all the practice just comes to full fruition with actually performing as well. So yeah, so tomorrow I'm really night. excited. Yes, very about much so. This. And so where can students get tickets at? Students can get tickets at the box office here uh, in the lobby of the Performing Arts Center. S student tickets are only $3 with student ID. Um, there's also, I don't have it memorized, but uh, if you've seen the posters around, you'll see there's a phone number you can call to make reservations. Okay, and call in the University uh, Playhouse. Correct? Yes, and the box office is open in the afternoons from 1 to 5, Monday through Friday. Yes, sir. And not to take the light off the upcoming play, but any uh, future things in the works for? The yeah, we, ha we, we have, uh, in late April, we have two one acts that were written by students, one by a grad student, one by an undergrad, being directed by a grad student and the other by an undergrad. Uh, those will be in late April. So look for publicity to come out for okay. those. Wow, that's a lot going on. With we keep busy. Part. Yes, sir. Yep. So plug in that play one more time for everybody out there. It's a listen. Midsummer Night's Dream. Opens tomorrow night, plays through Sunday uh, at 8 p.m. on uh, uh, Tuesday through Saturday and 3 o'clock matinee on Sunday. All right, Dr. Al, thank you so much for co coming in and talking with us. And make sure you stay tuned to more Lions Den on Main Media TV. We'll be right back.